What's up, Internet? I'm Andrew from Finding Wamba, and this is ATG number 65. For the week of January 10th, 2014. And uh, not a goddamn thing came out except for a PS4 game called uh, Don't Starve. No idea what it is, but it's the only thing that came out. Shout out to January. So far, nothing's come out. Nothing's going to come out. So, uh, let's go to the news. Uh, we'll start with Microsoft. Joseph Staten, original holder of the Halo Bible and designer director at Bungie, has returned to Microsoft according to his LinkedIn profile page. In September, Bungie announced Staten was exiting his role as design director on Destiny, leaving the company after 15 years of service. To tackle new creative challenges, according to Staten's LinkedIn profile, his new role at Microsoft Studios will be Senior Creative Director. Uh, Kenneth, Kenneth Scott spent four years working as Senior director, senior Art Director on Halo 4, but has now decided to leave that position to spend more time with his family. That said, he's not done with 343 Industries. We're thrilled to announce that Kenneth's longtime call, calling collaborator Nicholas Sparth Bouvier will step into the position of art director, a Microsoft representative told ING. Kenneth will continue to work with 343 Insurers remotely and partner with Nicholas in a newly created role as visual design consultant. We can't wait to share more details regarding the future of Halo very soon. It is unclear of how much input Scott will have on the Halo universe going forward, though it seems likely that he'll have a hand in the design of the X the upcoming Xbox One Halo game. Uh, Microsoft is working on a big Xbox One update to address the criticism and complaints over the live experience. The feedback that we've gotten is pretty valid, Witten told Engadget. Some of the social stuff is hidden or harder to use than it was in the Xbox 360. So you're going to see us come out with, a, out with an update where, where well, we're going to fix those things. That's what he says, not us. Also, the Twitch streaming service is still months away. Supposedly it's coming to the first part of 2014. Twitch still has no ETA from Microsoft, so we don't know when it's coming. On a more positive note of the company, Microsoft reports that it closed 2013 selling over 3 million Xbox Ones. Uh, according to Vance, uh, Vance Zampella, founder of Respawn Entertainment, Titanfall will support 6 v six versus 6 as the max player count. Zampella claimed that it was the best balance with the AI. So only 6 versus 6 players per game map, I guess. Uh, now this is some Sony news. First off, Sony closed 2013 selling 4.2 million PS4s. That's a lot of consoles. Congrats to Sony. Um, at CS... At CES, Sony president uh, Andrew House has announced PlayStation Now, a new game streaming service that aims to bring PlayStation, older PlayStation games to the PS4, PS3, and PS Vita, and other devices. PlayStation Now will stream games from the original PlayStation, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation 3 eras. First on the PS3 and PS4, will kick off on the PS3 with a closed beta in January, at the end of January in the U.S. With a full rollout planned for some time this summer, users will be able to rent games individually or pay for a PlayStation Now subscription. Sony aims to eventually expand the service beyond Sony devices too. Interesting. Beyond their devices. Uh, that's really it for uh, Sony. So, At CES, Valve premiered its third-party Steam machines for the 13 ground floor manufacturers. Alienware, Alternate, CyberPower PC, Digital Storm, Falcon Northwest, Gigabyte, iBuyPower, Material.net, Material, yeah, this looks right. Nextball, Origin PC, Scan, WebHalen, and Zotac. The cheapest Steam machine clocks in at $500, said Valve. And already Digital Storm unveiled its hybrid PC model that starts at $1,900. The Falcon Northwest Tiki costs up to $6,000. That's really expensive PC. A pretty wide range of prices and manufacturers have been listed. Some of you may be asking where is Razer on the list? Well they were busy with Christine. Project Christine is that is. The idea behind Project Christine is simple. Remove the hassle and exp 
expense of constantly upgrading a computer by making each of its crucial parts modular and self-contained. Instead of opening a tower and swatting more memory or a new graphics card in your computer, Project Christine allows users to simply snap a new module containing any desired upgrades to their current configuration. Wow, that's pretty cool. As a result, Project Christine should have a far lar longer lifespan than conventional computers as modular modules ugh, <clears throat> As modules containing your desired upgrades can simply be swapped in as necessary. Christine is still in the stages of early development and is hoped Razer will begin manufacturing units at some point in 2014. In other news, DayZ has sold over 800,000 copies of its early access alpha in less than a month. The development team seems to be no rest to complete the game either. In the DayZ development blog, they said they don't plan to reach any beta reach beta any sooner than the end of 2014. Wow. So that's going to be a long development process going on for that game. And in general gaming, China has suspended its 14 year ban on gaming consoles. The consoles will have to be manufactured in Shanghai's free trade zone, however, but this does open a huge market for consoles. Uh, Apple News, the app yeah, the App Store made $10 billion in sales last year with December alone providing over $1 billion and a record-breaking amount of app downloads. iOS users racked in almost almost 3 billion downloads last month, helping take the App Store developers' earnings up to date with a whopping $15 billion. As we learned last month, Candy Crush Saga was the most downloaded free app of 2013, while Minecraft Pocket Edition was the year's best-selling paid app. It's a lot of news. Uh, seems more people are jumping ship from EA. Ch Chilingo founders Chris Bayet and Joe Wee have left Electronics Arts. MCV reported the co founding duo had a hand in launching the first Angry Birds and Cut the Rope games. Speaking of EA, they want to hear what people have to think about Battlefield 4. They have a survey for Battlefield 4 community which First, ask players to rate the likelihood that they would recommend Battlefield 4 to a friend, then ask for a short, personalized review. It's crap. Just, just gonna put that out there, yeah. It's crap. You, you, the game was not completing any closer at all. Uh, moving on, a U.S. federal judge has established a royalty rate Nintendo will pay to Tomita Technologies International for every 3DS. Ooh, handheld console sold worldwide. The ongoing fee stems from a 2011 lawsuit that found Nintendo liable for damages after infringing upon Tomato's glasses-free 3D technology patent. Engadget reports that Nintendo will pay Tomata 1.82% of the wholesale price of every 3DS and 3DS XL sold over the portable hardware's lifespan. And that is it for news.